Mike, you talked to us uh, early in the year about how much time you guys put in, in in training in those camps in January and February about getting uh, getting everybody on the same page, defensive mindset, and it's shown through these first three games. But now you're going to have to make so many changes all at once. How do you maintain some of that cohesiveness that you work so hard on and you have shown? Well, I mean, it's inevitable that we have to make these changes. It's uh, forced, you know, not that the guys who are going to come on don't deserve to, to be on the field at all. That's not what I'm saying. Um, so you just hope that they paid attention in preseason and paid attention the first three weeks of games and paid attention in practice since the season started because uh, they should know what's expected of them, uh, and, I, and I think they do. How much does your thinking approaching this game change knowing that the bulk of the players that are going to be missing are attackers? Um, I don't think it changes a ton, to be quite honest with you. The way we're approaching this game is very similar to the way we would approach it if everybody was healthy, um, much res with much respect to LAFC and, and what they, what kind of team they are, especially at home. A uh, very difficult team. To me, top two team in the league right now, them and uh, Kansas City to me. I mean, you could throw a punch or other teams in there, but uh, they're, playing the, they're playing top of the league. Um, so it's always going to be a difficult situation. And now with the amount of players we have missing, maybe it makes it a little more tougher. Maybe guys come in and step up. Um, but we'll see that on Saturday. Do you feel like it'll be a little extra juice in the stadium because you did knock them out of the playoffs a year ago? I, uh, no, no. I think that the juice that those fans bring to that stadium, you know, I think you can't really put it in another level. You know, they do very well there. Uh, so I don't think it's going to bring, I think maybe it'll be on the, the LFC players' minds, maybe Bob's mind a bit. Uh, but I think the, the fans are always going to support them. Nathan mentioned that maybe the lack of experience on the field can be outweighed by the hunger of some of the other guys who do step on the field. Is that what you need in a game like this, those guys to go out and take those chances? Of course, you know, and you need a lot of things in these games, but that, that's one of them, of course, you know, players to step in, whoever's going to be on the field, <clears throat> and to realize it is a chance. It's a chance in a very hostile environment, a very difficult circumstances, uh, but, but at the end of the day, still a chance for them to step on and, and show that they belong at the level, and, and, and they challenge me to make tough decisions in, in the next week after that. Absolutely. You guys beat LAFC on the road in the playoffs last year. How much of that game can you take into this one, if at all? No, I mean... Maybe the mindset of us, you know, maybe our mindset in that game, I was very happy with, obviously, our, our patience, our, our movement as a block, um, and uh, creating out of it a handful of chances. Uh, but it's a new year, you know, two new teams, new year, different time of the year. Um, so not much other than just the great attitude that we had in that game. When you say they're one of the top two teams in the league, what do you see them doing that really separates them out and, and Shows a certain level of excellence. I mean, their their, their ability to um, to shift defenses and create one v one, two v one situations, their interactive of, in, interaction of their midfielders in different roles, uh, their counter press, especially at home, um, and throughout the entire team, every player, their ability on the ball. It's not just the attacking players. Their ability on the ball. Uh, you know, their outside backs getting very much involved in the attack to create overloads. Uh, I could go on all day. You know, they're a very talented team. Um, they have talented individuals. And it's going to be, again, for all that, plus a lot more, it's going to be very difficult circumstances for us. With the way the game played out last week, how quickly can you get over it based on I'm over, I'm over it. The players are over it. Uh, we, showed a little, we showed video of the first, I think it was 30 minutes this morning, 25, 30 minutes, and we played pretty well. Played pretty well in the first 25, 30 minutes. We all thought we were going to walk out with at least a point. And it's, you know, one bad mistake in our build out, um, one, one call, um, and then we're down 2 nothing. And then to be down two men, you know, it's at that point, it was just let's get out of here healthy. It didn't matter what the score was at that point. Let's get out of here healthy because we're already missing a handful of players. Um, but the first 25, 30 minutes, um, until one or two mistakes on the red cards, um, we were in control and, we, and I was happy with how we played. So you kind of just throw out the rest, that like 60 or so minutes? <coughs> no, I don't throw it out. I, I, I keep it documented, you know, for perhaps we have to work on more than we have scenarios like that man down, two men down. I don't know if I'll ever work on two men down, but, you know, more of a man down that, you know, we've done, we've done that in preseason, but maybe we have to retouch on it. Oh, so. Uh, Joao Pata was seen out here running a little bit. Um, do you 
you anticipate him maybe being at least available Saturday or? Uh, I don't have that before? information yet. He's out here running, you know, uh, moving. Uh, he has not been any live practice action. Uh, so I think that obviously that's the next evolution that we have to have before he steps in the field in a game. Uh, so we'll see Thursday.